Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mid Pumaster here today with UPA Season 1, I believe, Week 6. I'm gonna double check. Week 6, Week 7 battle against JB West side coach of the Las Vegas Endurances. I I know this is like the third time in the past month I battled him. We were just in three Wi-Fi leagues together, so it just happened to be that we just battled each other pretty much multiple weeks in a row. I found him week four or three in like NCP, week six in BBR, and week seven in, you know, in this league. So don't have time to record a team builder. I've kind of jumped. I've just kind of put this off all week, and I don't have time. I don't think he's recording one either. So we we're both kind of drowning this. So I just wanted to, you know, put my team up here first. Um, just so you guys make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what. I don't even know what to comment down below, just comment something down below so I can be put more into the algorithm. Go and check out JB, one of the nicest and greatest dudes I've ever met in the community, and I'll see you all in the battle. And we are here with the battle, so I finally stopped drawing him, so let's hope we can pick up this win. He brings Agron, and no... And he doesn't bring Ladia, so... First off, I see no G-Max last week, so this is a no G-Max battle. So he has Rosary. Actually, he has Agron. And then he has no Latias. What does he have? Am I just missing something? Coco. Some Mammo. Rosary. He has Buzzwell. I don't know how I just kept messing that up. So, Buzzwell. Already told each other, good luck, have fun, so I'm just gonna write these down. I think I'm gonna lead Surfetched. Just as it's just a general annoyance for this team. So, Tapu Coco. Roserade. Buzzwool. Agron. Mamo, which sixo is my team. And Ensign. Or so. Let's say we already told each other good luck, have fun. So let's see how this goes. Honestly, Mew can kinda just win this. Off lead if I would have let it. So he leads out beef that is active. But it's more than fine. I kind of just want to knock. Yeah, I think I'm just going to knock off because, like, his switch in is buzzable. And that is not, like, he kind of wants its item. If that makes any sense. So he's gonna hard switch out. And he does go into Buzzle. What item do we see? Was that like a crit? He was a Soul Best. So he was AV. But he took a lot. So he's at like 75. I'm just gonna go into Gastrodon. Not stack attacker. It can just reasonably live any hit from this mon. So... Gastronaut should just be able to chew any hit from this. So... I'm not too worried. And my Mew can sit up all over this. Once I start getting causing powers up. So, I'm honestly not too worried. He's gonna hard to drop probably into Rosary, trying to get that double beef that is the aggro. But I got Gastro. So I can scald you pretty freely here. Or I can pivot out into Mew. Now I'm gonna just go out into Surfetched. The Surfetch deals with Rosary very fine as well. 
kind of doesn't like to take a hit from this one. So he's gonna hard switch out into Ruby. That is Rosary. So now I can just kind of fire off a Brave Bird. How much is like a first impression due to this one? I'm just gonna click Brave Bird and claim my kill. If he's not like. Even close combat had a good chance to kill. But I also want to get this kill as pivot into Buzzwell here. He's gonna stay in a click Leaf Storm. Yeah, as long as he wasn't like offensive item, I actually always live that. But now we're both gonna double down here. So Sir fetched kills Rosary. And Sir Fetch dies to Rico. That's really good for us because now he really struggles to break our, what's it called, Gastrodon. I think I'm just going to go into Mew here. I can kind of just start to set up. So he does go into Tapu Koko. He is, if he's choice specs, he two shots us with Thunderbolt. Otherwise he does not. But obviously there's no reason to stay when we have a Gastrodon in the back. He could always U turn out, so I could like Cosmic Power it up to, you know, have him probably my weakness policy while getting our boost. And honestly, we could have just won at that point. But I just want to be a little bit more careful than that. We still have a lot we can do here, and I don't want to stack my win con this early. This looks deep. Man. 217 to 139. So that did 78. So he's not. Actually, he might be Joyce Specs. No, he is not. I'm just going to Earthquake here. He has Grass Knot. Does this kill? It actually does. He got a crit. I don't think that mattered. So he's. Deagling Grass Coco kills Gastrodon. But now I know I can just set up with me. So I'm gonna cause my power up. And I'm really not too worried here. He's just gonna Thunderbolt. 207 to 114. 207 to 114. So that only did 93. And I'm pretty sure he can be modest against my team. So I'm just gonna soft boiled here. And once this electric train's gone, it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with this. And he's gonna go for U-turn and pop our weakness policy. So we're at plus two attack, plus two speed, plus one defense, plus one spit F. So we're actually looking really good here. Boots with fur, that is incinerator. So we are gonna get intimidated. And I now have no item. I'm just fixing this calc so I can see how much knockoff will do. It really just doesn't do much. I'm gonna set up another cosmic power. He clicks. Yikes. But now body press should be close to killing. 
If not, that is not good for us. I didn't even think about Darkest Lair yet. Depending on his investment, he might not kill us here. But he'll be able to revenge us with anything. Nope. Incineroar kills me. That sucks a lot. That honestly sucks a lot for us here. I'm forced to go into Swolpeed. I think we just lost because of that. I didn't even think about that. For the Darkest Larry. I'm just gonna go for the Mega, not the Mega Point, the Earthquake here. That sucks a lot. I should have thought about that. I know he loves Darkest Theory, and he knows I love set up bulky meal. Swolipede kills the Zimmerwar. But how do I kill Buzzwool? Megahorn does nothing to it. He goes on the beef. This is the... what's it called? I'm just gonna stay in an Earthquake. This is the Aggron. I have no reason not to just stay in and click Earthquake. I need to break its sturdy for Stack Attacka. If he's like offensive buzz one, he's not very like defensive. How much does stack attack at the U.S. Stone Edge? It actually does quite a bit with Gyro Ball. He's gonna head smash. So, Aggron kills Skullby. And it dies to recoil. Aggron dies to recoil. I'm forced to go Grimmsnarl here and try to set up screens. So he still has a Coco, Buzzwool, um, what's it called? Mimoswine. Goes into Manny, that's expected. So he just has his first three left, and I have Grimmsnarl plus my Sack Attack. So I'm gonna reset, I'm gonna set up Reflect here. And I am Air Balloon, so even with a Reflect Up, you know, I'm not going to take anything from Earthquake. This is mainly so I can try to live hits from that, what's it called? Buzzwool. He clicks EQ, let's see how much this does. 202 to 120. In his life. So that only did 77. I'm going to set up a... Do I need Reflect? I really don't. I'm just going to Darkest Lair it to get more damage off on this. Does he have like... I don't know what he's going to have. I'm going to... I'm obviously attacking him here. That did not do anything. I'm just gonna set up a reflect here. Just so I can set up the trick room easier while still being bulky. It's gonna click Grass Knot. I'm gonna Spear Break. How much does Grass Knot do? It really doesn't do that much. So he's gonna Thunderbolt me. How many more turns do I have? I still have quite a bit more. I'm gonna go into Stack Attacka. I just need to get this trick room going.
I just have to hope he doesn't flick you turn. Flick's decoy, okay. Let's set up this trick room. I think I click trick room at least. And Gyro Ball actually does 50% to Buzzwool. Wellington that is Buzzwool. Even if he's no speed, max HP. So I'm just gonna Gyro Ball. I, I should two shot. Unless he's like has Fizz Death. Superpower does have a chance to kill me through Reflect, which is unfortunate. But if he's Drain Punch, I just have to hope he does not recover enough to stay out of range. That's my Wincon at this point. So obviously I'm just Jarrowbong here. I have no reason not to. Just because I need to get this damage off. It's close combat. That might kill us. It does. Buzz will kill Stack Attacker. So we're going to lose this game 3-0. Because there's no way Grimstar out speeds. Actually, we're in Trick Room, so maybe we can pull something out, who knows. Grimmsnarl kills Buzzwell. My Reflect is gone. There's no way we kill Mammoth Swine, though. And I'm at 63. So Life Orb Ice Shard can very easily just knock us out. I just hope he doesn't realize that. And I can get like some super mega crit on this mod. Which is not gonna happen. So Mammo kills Grimstone. So we're only gonna lose this game 2 0. So that's not terrible, but. I'm on a major losing streak and I'm just, I need to do something, so. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out JB. He's just the absolute goat. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.